All right, so the carbon dioxide is backed up because it doesn't want to split there for whatever reason. For whatever reason, I don't know. But it just doesn't want to do it, which is annoying. So, I think I have a gas splitter, yeah. So a gas splitter A, which is, what is that? Uh, yeah, so one input. I could just basically attach it here, I think, and it'll take care of this issue. Yeah. And then I'll snip. I'll snip, snip, snip when they get that done. Shift plates are black magic. How long would it they last, though? Wouldn't they just melt? There's close. Okay, so there was like 4K from the. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping that it would that we made all that ice. Like, Holy crap! There's a ton of ice. Oh Christ! Really? Now it's gonna work just fine. All right. Well, we got it. We still have to fix this. Trick this. There we go. There. That's what I want to see. Perfect. No more power issues. <laughs> Dicks. Uh, water. We don't have a place to dump that water. We really don't, huh? Uh, we can put it in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, it's disabled, so we'll enable building. And we can actually just let that run because the water is going to run off here and they'll fall down and get pumped back into this thing, so it's just fine. Let's we'll let that run. So that's enabled. So now that we clean up all this water, which is gone now, look at that. Ice is melting, maybe? Is that why this looks like this? Is this an ice melting problem? Sure feels like it. How much ice do we have? This thing is, I mean, this is, a, it's freaking a nine. So I don't think that's the problem. We got some ice is jumping around here. So this means, oh, this, this is ice being created right now. Actually, what this is. Uh, make it a priority nine for it to split. What do you mean? You mean the, uh, not the, not the split, the actual split, that doesn't have a thing. You mean, you mean this? Oh, actually, wait, let's see what the temperature is. 144 degrees. Yeah, you know what? That's hot. That, oh, you know what? Oof, man, that's really putting a damper on everything. I was just kidding. God damn it. I wonder if I should enclose this area here just to keep this air, just keep it trapped. The rock crusher, do I need anything from this right now? What are we doing on refined metals? I think for yeah, for now we could go ahead and oh, you know what? We need some more gold actually. Gold amalgam. To where we have lots to gold. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and just kill this thing, and then let's put a little room around here. So we'll go deconstruct this. Okay, so we just dumped out a bunch of ice. Ah, oh, that's what that is—a little trickle down there. Okay. We need some of just the supplier to run around. So we'll yeah deconstruct this guy, and we'll build a little. We'll just build a little room around this thing. Something simple. And with that, actually, we might as well go ahead and build another ice machine. We'll have like three ice machines. And then what we'll do is we'll build uh, ice shift plates to see what that fucking does. Because that just sounds like it makes app. That just makes no sense. <laughs> Damn it, this pipe. Then move that up. Nah, she was fine. We'll leave right here. Then we'll put a door. Put a mechanizer, something quick. Good, and then let me see. So that's gonna have to be here, and that's gonna have to be here. Then we'll get rid of this. Then we'll build two more of these utilities ice makers. We're gonna have all kinds of ice makers just, just cranking out, man. Cranking out ice in this tiny little room. Then we're gonna make temp shift plates, and we guess we'll make it out of ice, and we'll see what happens. Plenty slow heating. No? Okay. Oh, it switched materials right in the middle of that, didn't it? Let me see. And uh, shift plate. Yeah, sure did. Oh man, that's annoying. Crap, I can't cancel. Uh, let's see. Cancel background buildings. I hate when it does that. Alright, let's try that again. Let them finish this. Power should be on its way. Yeah, power be on its way. Are you gonna be rocking the mic like a... <laughs> to the extreme, of course. Make the door one tile higher than normal to the melting ice water doesn't escape. escape. Oh man, that was a good idea. Damn. <laughs> 
Well, let's, uh, let's, I guess we should have some. Here he goes. This is gonna be a very hot room. But yeah, temp shift plates. I'm glad that it's not a problem that I don't really understand them because they just don't make sense. Uh, so it looks like we could only make like six of these actually. So let's put them right across the middle. One, two, three. I guess we'll just do uh, then uh, one, two, three. And now that's it, that's all we got. Did I actually switch for that last one? Granite, got it. Cancel that build. Did see temp ice? Okay, so there's still some ice here. You need a warning sign out. Yeah, ice room is everyone's uh, a sauna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I genuinely want to see what happens with these ice. I I strongly feel like these temp shift plates are just gonna melt. They're just gonna melt. But I don't know, so we'll see. Uh oh. Body temperature getting pretty warm over here, huh? Ah, uh, because the water's being dumped in it is pretty cold. Or hot, sorry. So let's go ahead and say disable building for now. Yeah. Oh look, so because I put these in here, these farm tiles like this, they are uh, stopping the flow of water across these plates. And if the water gets too high, then it's going to... Huh. We'll have to find another way to distribute water across this. Maybe like a slow drip or something. Just certain areas. We just put like a... Oh yeah, we could just put a couple of vents. Just put a vent, 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 or, or uh, a drain. Drain, drain, drain. They could actually reach in there and do the work. And then the drain will just drop water, just trickle water in. Where are we get cool water though? <laughs> Let's put ice back there. Let's drop a bunch of ice cubes in there. How's this doing, by the way? Pretty good. We're keeping this pretty, uh, pretty good. 109 degrees though, this water. So that's not gonna happen. Dig out the road below. I could, but that's abyssalite, and I've made a pretty, pretty strong stance against digging through abyssalite. And I absolutely have to. How's this doing? So hot in this room. <laughs> oh, it's 350 degrees in here. Oh, man. Oh, they're burning up. They're burning up. They can't even work in there. Oh, man. Just build, just build the temp shift plates. I just want to see what happens. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's so painful. Okay, temp shift plate. Ah! <laughs> it, it instantly, instantly just... State chains just didn't even waste any time. All right, so this whole thing is a bust. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I think it's awesome that we can make ice, but I don't feel like we're quite ready for this. <laughs> I have never seen a state change so quickly in this game. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Thank you for not ruining it. I, I seriously was like, okay, wait a minute. Does this actually work? I had no idea. Uh, but good to know that it does not work like that. Oh man, okay, so it's pretty obvious that if we're gonna have an ice making machine, it has to exist inside of a hydrogen filled room. Um, because this is just too much. This is just way too much, way too much. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just kill it. Let's just kill all these things. God, that sucks. I was really excited about this. I was like, oh, here we go. We're gonna have all kinds of cool stuff now. Nope, kill it all. Kill it all dead. Mop this shit up while you're at it. <laughs> And then they can put the ice away. Yeah, so uh, I think a hydrogen filmed, filmed, uh, filled room that we can uh, cycle out cool oxygen, like, I don't know, maybe some of this, or cool hydrogen like this, that would be ideal. And actually, that's probably where this is going to come in handy. We, we're, we're at the point where we're reaching max pressure in this gigantic room. This is a lot of hydrogen. Like, this is... Yeah, not a small amount of hydrogen at all. Actually, you know what we should do? We should probably go ahead and poke a couple holes here. Just to uh, get some of this liquid out. Because that liquid's chilling there and it really needs to come down here and get sucked up. It's all granite anyways. Will those ruin the ice biome? The... Uh, that's a lot of water, holy crap. 
will what work the ice by the <laughs> look at these clouds of water what are you doing stupid bubbles uh anyways yeah so uh, pump hydrogen into a small room the ice makers oh oh yeah if we put the ice makers in the ice biome that's gonna be a problem but if we put the uh ice makers in a room where we're cycling in um cool hydrogen then that will help immensely but the, yeah the ice biome is already ruined and there's so much hydrogen here that we could probably get a pretty good flow of of cool hydrogen and then just dump it back in and just let it just cool naturally across this maybe just pump it right through here actually this is a ready ready to go this guy right here and we have tons of hydrogen right here as well too so we could actually pump it into this system and let it chill here it'll just naturally kind of equalize with whatever else is in there and then slowly pump it into here to get it nice and cool slowly and then pump it back out is it basically what this is going to act as is a gigantic buffer for cool hydrogen and that's it Ice biomes have a small passive cooling effect. Oh, they do, just naturally, huh? But what makes an ice biome? Like, what what makes it? I mean, this that may sound like a stupid question, but like, obviously, because obviously, ice, ice and snow, duh. But like, is there actual like zoning laws <laughs> in play here, where it says this is always going to have cooler, a cooler aura? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so where are we going to put said ice generators? We don't really need ice generators, actually. I don't know why we're so bent out of shape. Gotta go ice generators. We don't really need ice generators. What we need to do is use all this hydrogen for something that, like, well, all this cool hydrogen for something. Do we need ice generators? Nah. Zoning laws. Yeah, zoning laws. Else you could turn your entire base into an ice biome. Ah, it's been Jerry Panic to fit the knee. <laughs> every, every biome has a certain number of delegates that they could contribute to. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So. We have a lot of cold hydrogen. Cold hydrogen. We need to use that cold hydrogen to do something. We can pump it through the base and let it kind of passively cool the base, but it's not quite cold enough. Uh, we would probably want to run it through like some um, tuners or something. Oh man, this base is flooded. Yeah, we probably run it through some tuners or something in order to make it, you know, cold. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking like, where am I going to put this shit? <laughs> I have like pipes all over the damn place. But yeah, I, I could, especially down here, like this area could really use it. Thermoregular, yeah, that's, that's, I'll try, I don't know what word I was thinking of. Uh, this aqua tuner was the water, duh. The tuner's for water, and the thermoregulator's for the thing. So yeah, I have a couple of thermal tuners, thermal tuners, and have those basically pump everything in here. I had a really nice looping system that would take care of that. Oh, uh, what's the temperature of, a, of the gas up here? 97 degrees. Okay, so this is, I mean, it's chill, but it's not that chill. That actually started to build up quite a lot. But as long as it's not impeding on anything down here, we're fine. Let me see. Shine Nymph. There we go. How are we doing food? Great. We're right back up, actually. Food is good. Uh, allergies reserves is great. I'm going to check out this stuff before I go over there and start working on this other thing. Organic. Allergy, 9.9 .9 tons. Good. And this little area down here is basically been put on hold, which is fine because they haven't built this stuff yet. They built this, though, so it's good. They're getting some work done. Okay. Let's put the aqua tuners. Let's build. We got to build a little alcove somewhere or build something. Maybe we'll build it down here. We'll just patch up all this space crap. <laughs> uh, let the water go out into space, patch it all up, and then put the. I keep saying aqua tuners. The, uh, uh, the thermoregulator down here. It's still within the ice biome technically, but it'll be. We'll, we'll insulate it from everything up here. Um. I made it to San Antonio without dying. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, is it uh, PAX? Oh, it's PAX South time. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Have a drink for me. Yeah, let's go down here and do this. PAX South time. Oh, man, I'm jealous. Can't wait. We'll wait for this to finish doing whatever it's doing. There we go. 
Let's use the existing here, and then we'll build a ladder to just step down. One, two. We're gonna get some of that iron, which is nice and sexy. And then we will go across here, and we're gonna cut this, and we're gonna cut all this. So, like, what is this, granite? What is this? Uh, granite, granite, uh, granite, 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 granite. Okay, cool. Automated thermal regulator loop. What was the how automated it is? But we're already pulling in cold hydrogen. Like that's gonna be the key thing. We're pulling out cold hydrogen. Should I pack up, pack this up, or should I just place place this uh, these thermal regulators like out in space? Let's see what happens. We put them in space. Let's see. Refinement utilities. Where it's at? Utilities. A thermal regulator. You gotta automate it uh, to loop or it'll bust. Yeah, oh yeah, you do have to automate it to loop. For sure. Like, it's not... Do I even have power over here at all? Oh yeah, duh, because I have that machine right there. So yes, I do. Oh, but I need a lot of power for this. Can you get out? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and just put one here. And we'll put one here. Here, here. And then we'll see what it does. You still have, oh yeah, I still have a lot. I know, I know. I'm looking at the hydrogen generator. It's like, just looking at it. It's like, mm, about to get fed. What is an output? Gas intake outputs. Oh, just heat. Emitting next to no waste. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Should we put it down here? <laughs> now, um, all, all this is going to be uh, changed eventually. Uh, this is all very temporary. But, you know I like my localized uh, systems, so... <laughs> no batteries! No batteries! We're just going to go... Just go hand... Actually, no, we'll put a battery in there. Um, we'll put it right in the middle. And then we'll have that automate to turn off the thing over here, so turn that off. And then, if this all fails miserably, then we'll find some other way of doing this, but, you know, we'll put, like, we'll, put, we'll, we'll just put drywall up and that'll take care of this. But, yeah, we'll see. Oh, whoops, there's a little thing there. I'm just gonna put one little tile right there. Boop. <sighs> Temperature up there is pretty good. Vacuum, so extreme freezing. Technically, extreme freezing. Technically. Oh, they can clean this, huh? Yeah, try that. Try that. Let's speed things up, guys. I I thought I was gonna make it to 500 cycles today. I was zooming through a lot of it too. Yeah, thank you, Impossible. Yeah, failure is indeed. Part of the fun of doing all this crazy shit. Let me see. Uh, what was I gonna do next? Ventilation. So now we gotta get a gas pie or pump, which I guess I can't see for some reason. And we'll put that up here, just kind of like up at the top where you know where it settles. And then can they reach that? Yeah, they can. Uh, put it here. And then we'll bring down just regular pipe down one. Do a gas bridge in a second. Well, I'm not touching any of that. Mm, okay, we'll go down. Nope, not like that. And we'll do another jump. Failure is learning. Should be. <sighs> and then we'll go down to the hydrogen generator. And then also to the thermal tuners. So we'll do the hydrogen generator first. We'll work on this. This has got to be a completely separate, like, looping system. So that's going to require a little bit more work. Uh, as you can see, we're starting to suck out some of that hydrogen, so let's very quickly go over here and build a tiny little door. Just tiny little, tiny little, very quick. And that way we can keep some of this. There's so much pressure in there. There's so much pressure. It's just waiting to burst out. So yeah, we gotta get that thing built. <laughs> yes, I see it's going into space. <laughs> it's fine. It's just for a second. There we go. And this is on, oh, there's a, uh, oh, I didn't realize that. 
put one little thing right there. What is this made out of? Yeah, make it a nine. Uh oh. Okay, good. And then we gotta run power up there to that thing. Oh, they already started most of this. Fantastic. So let's we'll get the. Oh, let's get the remainder of the ventilation, which is basically a bunch of gas bridges. So we'll go. Uh, yeah, there, and then there, and then the rest is fine. Uh, power. Power. Hmm? Why does it make an attach sound on the drain? See what's the temperature of these things? Forty-eight degrees, huh? Too much liquid, damn. Go ham on uh, temp shift plates near those thermoregulators. Well, I'm gonna use space first. I'm gonna use space first, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out from there. But over here we got a something. What is this? We have a vole pup and a pinch of pepper seed. Look at the pinch of pepper seed. We're gonna see a small bladder, no taste, ugly cry, ugly cry, diver's lungs, air explosion, and farts frequently, increased bladder. Sticker bomber, plus seven strength. Okay, we'll print that for now. Hey, look at that. We've almost transferred all this water over, which is fantastic. Have we done any, uh, yeah, we've brought the temperature down a little bit. It definitely equalized a little though. 130 degrees, hasn't really dropped that much lately, so. But good, the, again, this, this is going to temporarily, and I said 20 cycles, but that was like 40 cycles ago, so. This is good, and we're giving this an opportunity to, to cool off still. I'm excited to see if this works, honestly. Oh, it's Olivia's birthday! Olivia! Olivia's coming over here on uh, Sunday. So, I'll see her then. I'll see you then. Hey, thanks for that penny. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> thanks, Top. Pitch of pepper sounds like my piece do say. Give her a birthday hug for Uncle Chad. I'll give her a birthday hug. No problem. And I'll just say it's from me. <laughs> you guys are getting any of the credit? Let's get mop some of the crap up, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. All this stuff's putting out all this nasty. Get out of here. Get out of here. Can you mop that too? No, can't reach. It. Okay. Can you zap it? Sure can. How about you zap this too? There you go. Water can't hide from me. Oh, they can't reach that. <laughs> Let me see. And then mop. Oh, they can't make that jump either. We'll do this, and then we will mop. I just want to mop all this stuff up because because we don't necessarily need to have these things emitting any kind of uh, nasties. And then it could go. It can't go all the way down, actually. Ah, we'll do the rest. Oh god, they didn't finish it. Oh, here they come. Really, the mopping taking priority? Bitch, that's an eight. <laughs> just how Lord tweeted. Yeah, I'll just say, happy birthday. I'll save it for when I see her. Uh, oh, the gas imp uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to do that uh, later. Not right now. Oh, I don't have the spark to get it started. Damn it. Uh, yeah, it's an easy fix. Kind of a dumb fix, but it's an easy fix. Yeah, I forgot. You got to have, uh, It's you know, you need to start it somehow. Let's put a... Hmm... Put it right here. Oh, actually, it'll sit right here nicely. Yeah. Can I flip it? God, why can't I flip these things? Who's that? Hey, Shadow, thanks for that follow. I think that. Let me see. We'll make it out of uh, iron ore, which we have tons of still. You need a 61 to win. Oh, is it 61? All right. There we go. Just pedal, just just give just give it one good crank. Just one good crank. It'll take over from there. That's all I need. <laughs> That's all they, they really have to. There it is. That's it. Done. Okay. 
it wasn't quite enough. Did they get? Is it? Yeah. Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. Here it goes. Here it goes. It was enough. Then bam! Now the whole thing runs on its own. See? It just needed a jump start. That's all. We'll just take this and make that a one. And the system should run on its own for the foreseeable future. So, first things first, we should note that it is very cold down here still. We are exposed to space down here still. We should be, it should be a vacuum actually down here. Donkeys are outdated anyway. Yeah. No, there's still some uh, hydrogen actually floating around, which is weird. It should be, oh, it's, it's very quickly going away. Um, so now we should probably start to tackle the issue of how do we cool this stuff and then flip it and put it elsewhere. Oh, good. And we have a whole slew of hydrogen back here. 58 degree hydrogen. All right, so we'll feed regular hydrogen to this and then we'll cool hydrogen and send that elsewhere. So we need to have a valve that senses temperature. Uh, God, do I want to do it like that? Do I want to bring it back or do I keep a loop? If I have a loop, if I feed all of this into a loop, I could keep it going indefinitely. But if I terminate the loop inside of this room, it'll make it easier on the the uh um the thermal regulators because the thermal regulator if i'm gonna take it if i'm gonna have it bring back heated hydrogen then it's gonna have to work extra hard in order, in order to cool it so i should just pull the hydrogen from this room cool it a little bit and then just send it on its way and then bring it back and just pull it put it in this pipeline here which is completely backed up <laughs> we really need to get this part done <laughs> this part needs to happen oh my god Oh man, okay, because we need a place to store all this stuff. Like that's the that's a, one of the biggest problems we have right now is we have nowhere to store this stuff. Um, all right, so how am I sending this over? We have regular gas. Oh, you know what I could do? So many plants, yeah. Instead of, for just the time being, instead of... Oh, there it is. Okay, that's. I was wondering if uh, we were going to run into these problems. Uh, oh, it's made out of lead too, which is the problem. So it's obviously running into uh, key problems. It's one, it's made out of lead, which is kind of dumb to begin with. Let me go and deconstruct that. Um, and two, yeah, it seems that there is no heat exchange where it's going to super cool itself because it's in space. It's going to actually just get really hot. I guess there's nowhere for that heat to go, so it's just going to get really hot. So let's go ahead and... I guess this is all pretty much patched up now. We could go ahead... No, stop! Would you stop pedaling on? We don't need that stuff. Get out of here. Well, it's a one. Disable building. There we go. So yeah, I can go down here and just put a couple of... Uh, put some drywall up and that'll take care of that. Just drywall space. This seems so weird. What do I have What do I have laying around right here? Granite. Perfect. So, let's say utilities, uh, and then granite. Also adds to the decor value, guys. Hey, hey. Is that good? Is that going to seal it off? Is there an easy way to see where space is? I think that's probably good. So, yeah, look at that build. That'll take care of that problem at least. Oh, maybe we should put temp shift plates back there instead, which is going to take forever. Fuck, this is really going to slow down my progress here. Let's see, utilities. We do need temp shift plates back here, though. It would be silly not to use temp shift plates back here. Let's make it on ice. <laughs> I see. An insulator. Overheat temperature 360 degrees. So I don't think we make it out of out of that. Uh, let's make it out of clay. No, let's make it out of gold. Here we go. Thermally reactive. God, we don't have a whole lot of gold amalgam, actually, too. Will ice shift? Yeah, I think everything is going to melt in space. And then we'll lose that water to be gone. Time for more science. Yep. Overheat temperature. Iron. Here we go. High thermal conductivity. Let's use these. We have lots of iron. So let's go ahead and make these. I'm hoping that temp shift plates block everything back here. I'm certain they do. Oh, there's a small hole right there. So I guess maybe space. But yeah, so here's here's what I was thinking for a minute. Instead of trying to embark on the giant mission of getting all of this hydrogen cooled and then into the base to cool the base that is not necessarily overheating right now, like it's it's warmer than it was when we first started today, sure. 
But it's really not like like it's not a problem yet yet. Um oh, they do wonder, like, is the heat really just coming up from the uh from down here? Huh. I might have to kill this whole bottom line here and then put another layer of insulated just to Yeah, just to keep this contained. Huh, funny. It's probably the probably the pipes, maybe? Come on, catch up. Uh, the water is 172, 107.2 degrees. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Steam vents going crazy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Actually. Whoa. Okay. So. Well, you know what? I guess as long as we never open these doors, it's fine. So never mind. Fuck it. Whatever. At least we got all this stuff up and out. Tons of carbon dioxide down here. That's going to be a problem later on. But not for today, me. <laughs> There's not enough time of the day to play this fucking game. Uh, Briar Seed. Great. Dudes will slowly heat things by using them and being close to things. Great. So hey, what I was going to do is use the thermoregulators to cool the hydrogen that's already in this biome. And then circle it on itself so we can, like, super cool it really fast. And hopefully we get... Um, and for that, we don't need to create a loop or anything like that. We can just use what we currently have and just pump it in, throw it back, and pump it into into the system, run it through two thermoregulators, which will cool it down like an additional probably 60 degrees, and then just dump it back in and just keep on repeating that process until we reach the desired goal of having this entire area be, be like just stupidly cold. Um, items on the floor of the steam area. What steam area? Oh, over here? Oh, to get the... Uh, oh, well, there's stuff down here, but they're not going to go get that right now. <laughs> there's nothing there that they really need. And actually, none of that stuff is accounted for, because once the door is locked, then it removes it from the counter. So none of that stuff is really accounted for, so that's fine. We don't need any of that right now. Yeah, let's try to super cool this instead. So let's go ahead and get the uh, ventilation. And what we'll do is we'll... God damn it, this fucking save every day takes forever. Do I have the... Do I have it on like see game? No, it's the small it's just let's do like every uh five cycle that's risky. Let's do every two cycles. I don't have to deal with that pause every day. Is there access to gas storage? That is the question. <clears throat> not right now, but we could continue to just take this and dump it back in. I'm, I'm gonna cycle it in on itself. I'm not going to store it right now. Right now it's just purely grab it, cool it, dump it back in. Let me see. So we could just use that for now and we'll put that in there, out here, in there, out here, and then we'll dump it right here where it's going to get cool even more. Uh, let's see. Hopefully right here. They, yeah, they can reach that. God damn it. I just need a little tiny bit of plastic <laughs> so I can make these damn vents. They, they might actually have, they might, there might not be enough like, it might be over pressure, actually. Let me see, was that zero? That's a zero, okay. Why is that say there's no power? Oh, because the disabled automation grid. Yeah, that's right, because I never put another battery in here. Just put another battery in there. Let me see. I'll just make that as something that's not going to just, uh, High thermal iron. Man, iron is great. Man. I don't think I had any iron in my last save. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out on a whole other part of the game here. See, the water is 54 degrees. So it's, there's even cool hydrogen going into this bitch. 86 degrees, 50, uh, 75, 73. But yeah, we're going to super cool this hydrogen and then get it back out. Steel is better. Yeah, I don't have any steel though. What do you use to make steel? It's not a kiln, right? Did you have nothing but rust in the last game? Yeah, I had, I had, I was on that, that planet that, uh, or that asteroid that didn't have any, it was like the hell planet, the hardest planet, or, uh, asteroid, and it just didn't give me anything good. <laughs> Refinery, okay. Hey, what up? KC. Alright. There it goes.
about 10 hours of this since I got it. It's around Christmas sales. You got to put some more time into it, man. Unless you value, unless you value your time, in which case don't. <laughs> Oxygen's going out at 41 degrees. That's kind of nice. Nice chill air. And that's going out. Great. Look at that. Wow, that's nice. Super cold air. Maybe that's how we uh, we fix this little bit of a problem. This little problem with uh, things getting so hot. I do wonder though, like, what is putting out the heat? Should learn how to read the DTUs. Let's see thermal conductivity? No, does it say? I guess, oh, I guess it'd be under the thermal tolerance. No. State change? No. Temperature? Just temperature, I guess. Hmm. Here it goes. Okay, so it's working, uh, but it's, it should, it should technically, even though it's getting full here, it should continue to, oh, look at that, it's 15 degrees. And it's completely, it's completely self-running. Like, I don't have to do anything. It regulates itself down here. This is beautiful. Temperature's gonna be the only thing we have to worry about, if at all. Man. Oh, look at that. Look at that, the icy blue. It's coming out of there. I have a feeling that over time, this is definitely going to uh, super cool this entire room. But because because there's so much back pressure in here as is, which will eventually get relieved because we are using some of that hydrogen in order to power the hydrogen generator, and we are pulling hydrogen out at the same rate, or, or sorry, at, at uh, a higher rate than we're replacing it, so. This should be a perfectly smooth running system, as is. Uh, the electrolyzer will puff every once in a while, but be, that, I think that puff will be equal to the amount of power pulling out of here. So I think that should be fine. <sighs> My time is not very valuable. If I can throw a few dozen hours into Dwarf Fortress. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go back and see what we got here. Nutrient bar. I wish that they had like, and you know, in StarCraft you could save your like locations, you could just like control key for your view. They need that for this. Wow, it's a lot of steam. This area hasn't been touched in a long time. This machine's running over here, huh? <laughs> it's real premature though. I'm not quite ready to uh, to pull any of this out. <laughs> um, it's gonna continue dripping down there and I don't have a place to put this yet. And I'm dumping this water in there too. So we need to get that water out too. We have a water problem. <laughs> uh, we don't have a water shortage. We have a water overage issue right now. Just dump it in the lava and see what happens. Temperature plates from AATN diagonally into the room should help. Oh, you think so? Well, we don't have a heat problem right now because they're not running full time. So they're never going to get too hot. I mean, it's 50 degrees, this thing. So start farming. You know what? That's a good ass idea. I don't know what to farm next though. I have nothing but meal ice and everything. I want to get them away from the heat, get them maybe set up over maybe over here. Touch your plates. I uh, see. And oh, into the room like that. Oh yeah, you're right, huh? Duh. That's a big duh thing. Let me go ahead and I'll set those up and then we'll go figure out what to what we can farm. Farm some ice! Eh. <laughs> uh, I see. Thermally reactive. I think that's what we want. Something that's gonna gonna push. Get real cold real fast and start pushing it along the line, right? I thought you meant pull it down. Oops. Oh. Okay, nope, we won't do that. I don't want to use all of something to make something because then we'll have it for something else. Let me see. I, I thought I was looking at this when I saw that. Well, what else do we have a lot of? Slow heating. Ice statues in every bedroom. Let's see, dirt, slow heating. Diamond. Decor, overheat, temperature, high thermal conductivity. Let's make it out of diamond. Each plate works in a 3x3 three three area around it, so you don't have to be sitting right next to each other. Oh. High thermal conductivity, the iron, I mean, the iron, the iron is good. High thermal conductivity, and I think it's probably the thing we have the most of. Let's do that. You said three by three, huh? Diamond is best for plates. 
I can use it for other things. Let's try it. Let's try a diamond. I, I'm kind of excited, actually. Let's try the diamond. Uh, I only have enough for four. Three, actually. So let's just do, like, what should I do then? Uh, maybe one, and then uh, two, and then three. Just kind of like that. And then we'll grab the rest. We'll make the rest out of thermal reactive. Oh, like a ton of obsidian. There we go. Perfect. We'll fill the rest in with that. Get to work. And then, does it really just carry it out? Like if I just start building out, it'll just bring that coolness down here. I want you to try that actually. This is build. Let's build along the the water line here, and see. And then we'll watch it and see how it looks, temperature wise. Like we should maybe see, you know, the cooling extend down the line. Obviously, it won't go all the way. I don't think, but it'll at least kind of move down the line a little bit. So this is not never gonna overheat. Oh, never say never, but ziff. Hey, let you resub this time. I'm glad that worked. Two years. Two years. Thank you so much. Predator vision. <laughs> totally. Uh, Zip, thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate it. Hi, Terrell. Battery, battery gone. They work to average out the temperatures they touch from your experience. Ah. Ah, but we'll see. They're going to build it and then we'll see if we could get this to spread the love a little bit more. But I mean, as is, the, the hydrogen's coming out is really cold. 25 degrees versus over here. It's going in at uh, at about 40 degrees. So I think that this this setup is probably going to actually work. <laughs> it's going to take a long time, but I think it's going to I think it's going to work. In the meantime, we have to get this water out of here. Don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. There's oil down here too. Guys, magmas, all kinds of stuff. That's crazy. Uh, oh, they finished this. <clears throat> I was going to start generating power from down here. I have to see all the all the damn everything is all on and ready to go. But we don't need the power yet. We need to get rid of the water. <laughs> what a dumb problem to have. My issue right now is I just don't have enough water. Uh, or I don't have enough things to spend water on. So yeah, you're right. Let's start setting up uh, some farm tiles. I guess some um, hydroponic ones. 